Okay. Ignea has done it again. This time they are doing it with this rhythm section and this this hand percussion, and it's 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 another journey. And my God, I'm in. Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, and today we're doing a, an artist from Napalm Records. Ignea. Now, we've already done two reactions for this band. They took us on this fantastical journey on the first reaction we did. Then they took us on this amazing historical portrait, literally portrait, of a photojournalist from the Ukraine. Both songs were magical in their storytelling, yet deep and powerful. This band has is just has everything. They've got the rhythm section. They've got that groove. A lot of Ukrainian bands have this groove feel. So going all the way back to Ginger, there's just something about, there's some kind of folk feel, even in the metal bands from the Ukraine, that it kind of permeates through, that the culture permeates through, and it, it's magical. So today, this one's called Incurable Disease. All right? My name is Old School Nerd. I'll have all of Ignea's uh, information in the description below. Please check them out. Uh, thank you all so much for coming in. Are you ready? You're not, but I'm pressing play anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Mine is better. Just saying. Are they going to be pirates now? Not for nothing. But Napalm Records has a lot of pirate bands already. But there's always room for more. We'll see. <laughs> uh, a lot of you already know that one of the first bands I ever did a reaction to on this channel two and a half years ago was a little band from the Ukraine called Ginger. And my favorite part of that band from the very beginning was the combination of Eugene and Vlad, that rhythm section. Um, the way they put that groove and the swing and everything into what they do. And I remember the first time I did a reaction to Pisces, it was that smooth jazz groove that started it that had me just going, what is all of this? Very similar, there is a rhythmic cultural groove here. Bass player for Ignea is just flying up and down that neck. And there is this rhythmic hand percussion that feels cultural and folksy and even though it is metal and you know they're probably going to go really hard this is so beautiful already she's just now starting to sing and i'm lost in this let's go let's go come on Oh, 
this whole album is a retrospective and tribute to the, that amazing Ukrainian woman, that amazing photojournalist. And I get that. But every song on this album is some sort of different, mysterious story to be told. And I don't, I mean, as look, they're, they're both napalm artists, so we can say it. But at the same time, yes, both Ginger and Igni are both from Ukraine. And there are very sim there are some things that are similar and there's some things that are wildly different, okay? Ginger is more of a groove, funky, jazzy, swing metal. This is has the same kind of groove in it, but it's more of a cultural, romantic, kind of sultry R and B vibe, you know? You know, soulful vibe. One thing I am noticing is that uh, both the lead singer of Ignea and, of course, the lead singer of Ginger, um, they both have an extremely rich vocal style. When, when either one of them sings harsh, you're like taken aback, like, okay, it's, it's powerful, it's scary, it's dominating. But both of these bands in their vocals, especially melodic vocals, have a way to not just be seductive with the, the the tone and texture of their of that alto sound they make in the, in their in their melodic vocals but it's a classic storytelling vibe it's it's something that's comforting right do you feel that at all when you hear when you hear either one of these bands do melodic vocals in their in their songs there's something about it that's mysterious it's cultural it's seductive, yet it's nurturing. It makes you feel like you're comfortable, you're at home. There's something very unique about the way both of these bands put forth vocals. I don't like to compare bands often because it winds up riling up the fan bases. But if you're a fan of Ignea, odds are you're probably a fan of Ginger and vice versa. And not just because they're both from Ukraine, but because... If you love either one of these bands groove, you're going to like the other. And um but there is something unique about Ignea. I do love the the keyboards here and I, not for nothing, but don't make me pick between the rhythm sections of these two bands. They are both outstanding in their own way. One is super funky groove on Ginger side. This is some kind of mystical it's almost it's almost like a it sounds like cultural music from that part of the world you know but it's it's like western asia eastern european it's it's a pull together of those cultures and you hear that rhythm and you hear the hand percussion i got chills man i got goosebumps I know I'm supposed to be reacting to this song, but I'm really kind of like, I'm lost right now with this. <sighs> wow. I'm going to let it finish playing. Let's go. Okay, just for comic relief, remember in the original movie, The Hangover, when Zach Galifianakis' character goes down to the casino and he does the Rain Man thing playing blackjack? I think that's the look. You know what I'm talking about? When Alan goes down to the casino and he plays blackjack like Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man? 
I think that's the same suit. It's definitely the same haircut. And the beard's pretty spot on. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to be doing a reaction to a metal song. But when you're like me, your brain can go places. And somehow, my brain just went to the hangover. Sorry? That's the only time I don't apologize. So take it now. <laughs>Seriously, like no, no, like no joke. Okay, incurable disease by Ignea. Um, I, 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 I do want to say a couple things real quick. Um, what a perfect blend of metal, folk music, and beautiful symphonic melodic keyboards and storytelling. I mean, it, it was a triple threat song, and then when you take the beautiful video that they put forth. I mean, this literally checks everybody's box that I know that loves music like this. Now, some of my friends who are reactors are going to go nuts over this video and song. I mean, Tori Reacts is probably going to react to this one, and she's going to do that. You know that look she gives when she gets lost in a song that we all love? Yeah, she's going to do that. Now, if Tank the Tech sees this, and he sees that bass, that bass guitar is throw down, He's going to lose it. He may head bang. He may freak out. He loves musicianship like this. And just this music is just insanely good. I look forward to seeing both of their reactions. Uh, I'll let you know if I do. But um, if they do, look for them because this is just crazy. All right, everybody from Napalm Records. This is Ignea, Incurable Disease. Please keep following this band. I have all their information in the description below. Please check it out. And with that... I guess I'm done. I know I've spoken enough, so I should shut up now. You know what? Check that. I'm going to send you guys out. I'm going to watch this again. No, seriously, I can watch. See, look. See? Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.